Reading skills is the first topic under the course title Teaching of English. The first thing that we need to inculcate in our students is silent reading. If we can inculcate the habit of silent reading amongst our students, then that is the beginning of their reading. The student needs to read by himself or herself. He needs to look at the words or the letters as the level of the student is and become familiar with the language. Silent reading helps a student to look at the words, understand the formation of letters, words and sentences, becomes familiar with it as if he is becoming familiar with a picture, with a drawing, with anything that he sees around. We have noticed that most of our students are visual learners. They love to look at things and learn them. And that is how silent reading helps them. By silent reading, we do not embarrass our children. We do not make them shy. When we ask them to just open their books and look at the pages that they are looking at and focus on the letters and the words and thus the sentences, they become familiar with the language. They know that there is something like A, B, C. They know that there is something like T, H, E, the being used many a times in the lesson. They become used to looking at the article A. And then suddenly they find that there is an article other than A and that is an. So they start believing in it that while they will be reading, they would be having articles like the, a, an. So this is the learning that they are doing independently. They really do not need a teacher there, but the teacher needs to supervise them. Of course, we cannot leave our learners on their own. While they are doing any activity, the teacher needs to monitor the students and see whether they are looking at this, those words which are required to be looked at. Another way to do that is, which I would do myself, would be when you ask your students to do silent reading, just ask them to underline the words. You can give them words according to their level. For example, if they are primary students, then you can ask them to just underline a, an, the, that, who. But if you find the students are above that level, then you can, of course, give them more words. The number of words could be increased and also the number of letters in a word could be increased and you can give them five letter words or six letter words or maybe more than that if they require that according to the level. Sometimes we have mixed ability in the class. So you may divide the students in groups and you can ask them. One group is going to look for all the three lettered words. Another group which you find are more challenging. You can ask them to underline the words which have five letters in them. So this silent reading would actually make them familiar with the letters and the words and the formation of sentences as well. Whereas when we just look at the reading when we just require them to just read in front of the class at that time they are not really learning that which they are required to learn while they are reading silent reading also helps them to develop concepts the concepts in the sense that sometimes there are good students who look at a sentence and then they repeat it many times in their mind but if they are not doing silent reading, they are conscious of finishing the text as soon as possible so that they get over the exercise of reading. We will be now talking about our next topic.